Hello, it's Tom Styles again, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, the investigation of the Texan PL-606 bleed over. Yeah, we are <laughs> kind of uh, <laughs> blew it this morning trying to do some reception testing. I got the camera in the wrong position. All I was showing you is my bare leg. Whoa, you don't want to see that. And then I was having this problem with a medium wave station bleeding over all over the place. It was bleeding all over short wave. It was bleeding over on medium wave. It was a disaster. And I was thinking that it must be a nearby station. So I'm home now and I did a little investigation and now you're going to see what I found. Here we go. So I went to this website called Radio Locator. And you put in a city or a zip, and it'll list all the AM and FM stations near you. And so I looked down here, and I'm looking, I was in Largo. The park I was in was in Largo. So here's the station in Largo. Now this is, this is where their tower is, where their transmitting tower is. And so I come over here, it's WWBA, and... Uh, I remember this station from many, many years ago. There was a station called WWBA, but it was, as far as I recall, it was on FM. I don't think it was on AM. So, um, let's go look at the information about this station. This is a great website, by the way. So, here's some information about that station. Sure enough, it's on 8. 0 kilohertz which is what I found when I was looking through the band trying to find this interfering station and look at my previous videos this is the frequency I found and then um, you come down ah, that's interesting view daytime coverage map I don't want to go that right to that right now let me go down Daytime power is 50,000 watts. Nighttime power is 1,000 watts. Now that's interesting because a lot of the testing I do is at night. And so maybe that's why this station doesn't interfere when I'm testing at night. Hmm, that's interesting. But what I'm interested in, notice the license was granted in 1988. So this, yeah, that's probably when WWBA that I remember came out. And the daytime it has two towers, and at nighttime it has three towers. And the transmitter location is right here. And I've already got that selected, so I'll go there. So here is where the tower is located. Now, what is where is that relative to where the park was that I was at this morning? Right here is the park I was at. Okay? And we can go to another website that will give you distances. It's this one right here. And if I scroll down, I've already done this. Here's the park I was in. Here is approximately where that tower is. And if I come down here... The line of sight distance is less than two miles. So I was less than two miles from a 50,000 watt transmitter. Now, maybe the transmission was going over my head because it was so close. But I think it was pounding me when I was at that um, park right here. I was at this park and this is where I was approximately in that park. So yeah I think I'm um, I can conclude that that was really pounding that poor little PL-606. So now I'm going to have to find another park away away from this station and other stations. You know there could be other stations. This is as you can see there's not many streets here so this tower is kind of out in a big field and uh, if I if I go back here, let's go back here. This is a better map. I can scroll. Let's scroll out a little bit. Whoops. So I'm looking for parks. Now there's a park there. 
I believe, yeah, I'm familiar with that park. It's actually closer to me. Uh, so that's one possibility, although it doesn't really, that park has, oh, no, that is not a park. That is a golf course. That's what that is. The park I'm thinking about is the Crest Lake Park. I go there when I'm doing metal detecting because there's a big playground. Uh, not too many open areas where I could put up an antenna using my fishing pole, but I could put up an antenna just kind of throwing it up in a tree. So that's one possibility. Here's another park over here which is quite large. See what else we've got. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go back to this web page here and go back and look at these stations. Now the ones that are far away, like Plant City, that's far away, and Zephner, I can ignore those. There's Tampa, that's across the bay. I can ignore those because I wouldn't, I wouldn't I'm not close to those. So I need to, to look at ones that are in I'm in the area of Largo, Dunedin, uh, what else? Clearwater, St. Nah, St. Petersburg is pretty far away. Here's another D Dunedin. So I need to look at that five or six stations, pinpoint them on a map, and, the, and then see the furthest I can get away from them in a park. So that's what I'm going to have to do. And then retest the PL-606 and see if... I can eliminate that interference problem. So that's where I'm at. It was kind of a bust uh, as far as doing that testing because of the interference. Um, the park closes at, uh, and I think, an hour before sundown, so I can't go in there at night. Uh, and I, what I was thinking about that station is um, low power at night. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Um, Where's that information I had? Uh, right here. So this station is... No, that's not the same one. Dead gummit. Uh, this one. And I didn't want... That's the website for the station. I don't want that. <laughs> the day's really been a bust for me. Okay, here's what we got. And it does say the nighttime power is re reduced drastically from 50,000 watts to 1,000 watts. And I don't know, I'll have to investigate what they consider nighttime power, when that switchover is. Uh, let me just, for the heck of it, let's, let's look at these coverage. This is a great website. Let's look at this nighttime coverage map. And I'm not sure how to read that. Oh, this is uh, local is the red. So, and I'm, let's see, now what's weird is it looks like this is, yeah, that's right, okay, uh, I lost my perspective and I can't zoom in on this map, but here was where the station, here's where the tower is, approximately here is where I was at, and so I need to, Move up here so I get outside of that fringe area at night at least. Although, like I say, most parks are closed at night. So, let me go back and look at the daytime coverage map. Whoa, gosh. Of course, you know, the further you get away, and it doesn't take long before this dies off. Um, the uh, intensity of the signal go drops off. So that's definitely going to be a big hit, that station there. So I may not be able to get away from it. Sounds like another show to me, or maybe a couple more. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this little investigation, please give me a thumbs up. Also, you could share this. That would help. Thanks. Bye.